Hello and welcome to another learning live stream with me, Chris and Chilla, as always. And it's Monday. I'm mixing things. I usually I do kind of a programming learning live stream on a Monday, but today I'm doing a creative one. Just the way it worked out, what I felt like doing, really. And uh, so two, three times a week, I live, unedited. <laughs> Sometimes uh, the commenters on these videos don't always understand that. This is live and unedited. Take a look at a piece of technology that interests me sometimes with the intention of turning it into an edited video at some point in the future. I have been covering a lot of AI content recently, so maybe this will form something in the near future. I'm not quite sure. Uh, what am I talking about? Well, today's subject is, and it recently got a lot of coverage in Google's recent I.O. keynote, it is Adobe Firefly. I've been sat on the beta list for some time. I've been a Creative Cloud user for some time, and I sort of hoped that might help me bump up the list slowly, and I finally got my invite, so it's finally time to take a look. Uh, I'm still sort of understanding quite what it looks like. I think the intention in the long run will be that it becomes part of the desktop tools, but I don't think it is right now. That's what we're going to explore a little bit in this learning live stream. If you enjoy what you see, then as always, there are two ways you can support that. You can subscribe, leave a comment, say hi. If you're watching live or later, tell me your thoughts. Have you used Firefly? Have you used anything similar? And if you want to find out more about me in general, then you can look at Christianchella.com. People have been pointing out to me all day that yes, I have a camera in the background of me. It's not plugged in, it's just sat there for the time being. <laughs> Whilst I'm moving things at a later date. All right, so this is Adobe's kind of uh, AI section. There's a whole bunch of different tools they have here. Uh, Sensei, which is I always forget that Adobe isn't just about creative cloud. They also have other projects like their whole kind of e-commerce side of things, which I never touch. Their generative AI, which doesn't really have anything apart from mentioning the other tools, which is Firefly, which is what we're going to get to in products. So inside creative cloud, this is where I'm kind of interested no it's the same again it's all sensei right now so i don't think there is anything yet it's sort of hard to know it's interesting because it's also saying that sensei is sort of after effects so sometimes a little confusing about what's where the sensei is actually in a whole bunch of things it seems um, anyway i am looking specifically at Firefly today. And here you can see the um, Firefly powered features inside Google Bard, which you might have seen in IO. I don't know if they're going to have any examples here. Um, yeah, this is some of the examples they showed in the live stream. But anyway, um, oh, yes, this is where we are. Join the beta, I've already done that. This gives you examples. Let's quickly get to, all right, so. And then at firefly.adobe.com, if you're part of the beta, then you get this page here. Um, we have a gallery, which shows what people have done. We have favorites that you've created about, which is back to where we just were. FAQ. Um, so it's just in browsers right now. Yeah. All right. So let's begin. We have text to image, text effects, recolor vectors, and then inspirations here. Generative fill in exploration. I'm guessing that means it's not available yet. 
text to vector, extend an image, 3D to image, text to, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things they're looking at which don't exist quite yet. Text to image, let's try that first. Okay, so they use Adobe Stock, which is very good because it's, well, it's images they've cleared. I mean, as with always with the generative AI, there's going to be a whole bunch of implications there that haven't been quite thought about. But uh, anyway, terms of use, yeah, makes sense. Limitations, no video. Can't use it for your own artwork at this time. Non-commercial use whilst in beta. All right. So, um, I wonder if we can get text because I certainly have some use cases right now. None of them seem to have text in. And this is actually a problem with, strangely, it's a problem with a lot of these generative art tools. There's no text. I don't see any text. I'm going to assume that's not possible. So, okay, I have, okay. I will move this up a bit because this is what we're focusing on. This is something I'm actually using for a book cover right now. And I have also tried some of these uh, prompts with uh, Mid Journey and with Dali and Crayon as well. And never quite got the results I was looking for. I don't really want this kind of style. I actually want more like a, a line drawing style. Um, I don't know. It's always knowing where to put all these keywords they sometimes want to. This one is, yeah. Um, I'm actually wondering. Let's see. Something like that. I don't know. It's hard to know quite what you want. So it also would be interesting to compare the speed here compared to other tools. I mean, the strange thing is this is actually not that different from some of the others I've tried. Um, I don't know if I still have them. I think I tried, I tried some of these on the stream as well. Let's see. We'll see in a minute. Um, there was another one as well. I can't even know what it was called right now. But I'll have to see if it still has the history. Probably not. You can go back and watch that video, but just as a point of comparison, um, didn't really call it that shocked. Uh, let's. Looks more, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the chinchillas are better than some of the other examples I've seen. This one more looks like it's generating it. Um, let me go for a little, um, a little less extreme looking. Mm. That's pretty much the same. Um, now, what else do we have here? We have, let's see. Did I move this window a bit square? I would actually rather have portrait, art, yes, yeah, styles, themes, techniques. Yeah, it's more like, a doodle, yeah, 
So here's where we can pick some of the examples. Yeah, this kind of thing, color and tone. Um, probably a cool tone. Lighting, um, probably dramatic. I actually don't really want any kind of background, which is another interesting thing. I haven't seen any of these generate um, transparent images so far, which is interesting. Composition. Um, hmm. It's kind of okay as it is, to be honest with you. All right, so that just added all these keywords. See if that makes any significant difference. It doesn't look massively different. This one is quite good, actually. This is not too dissimilar from what I actually got from an artist, to be honest with you. Um, it's almost a little too close up, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to be part of a, well, it would potentially be part of a wider um, cover anyway. So it's pretty good. Let's see what we can do with these. We can do, what is this icon? Show similar. Uh, submit to galleries a reference image comment, copy to, I can't talk, use as a reference image copy to clipboard. Download. Um, I wonder what. So this is a whole other program that Adobe is part of and also Google mentioned this as well. I'm wondering what format it's going to be. That's the other interesting thing. Let's see. The quality of them often seems to be the biggest. So it's a JPEG, which is unfortunate in some respects. The JPEG is like the least good quality, but it's always JPEGs. Um, let's open it up here as always. So you can also see here, it's added this here. So this means, I mean, if I wanted to use it on a book cover, I couldn't because it's commercial use. As much as I may not make any money from the book, it's still commercial use. And I wonder if any of the embedded stuff is added here. Uh, um, doesn't look like it. If that's all that it adds is a watermark. I mean, in honesty, I don't even need this bottom. So yeah, I'm not sure. This does look a slightly creepy chinchilla, I must admit. Actually. Uh, what, what's the file size? It's... 124, which I think that's the real size. So it's reasonable quality. It's quite blurry here and there. This is a very kind of evil looking chinchilla to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna try another one that, um, let's see if you can cope with words because this is something I've been trying to do actually. And I'm actually trying to hire an artist for it at the moment. So, <laughs> so Don't know if it's really going to cope with this. Let's see if you can cope with words right now. And then we'll finesse the styles. I don't think it can, but we'll see. Well, it has, but it hasn't necessarily picked the word I wanted. Although it's got the tail right. Um, I kind of want it horizontal. I don't know if the quote marks helped or not. It, it's weird because also the word is different in each case. Um, I don't, yeah, I'm experimenting a little here. Let's add um, some, so we want art. In this particular case, I actually want landscape. Uh, let's go for, so there's a whole bunch of other filters and tags here. Um, <laughs> okay. It's looking kind of weird, but um, let's go for pop art. Cartoon. Let's 
stamp, why not? Better look. Wireframe. It's interesting because combining all of these is surely gets very muddled very quickly, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's try those. It's always interesting as well because you only ever get four. I don't know why none of these models, none of these tools do any more than four. And it's got very odd. <laughs> it's got kind of disturbing. Um, <laughs> Quite quickly, let's pick out a wireframe. I don't actually know what sticking is. This one at least has the right word, although it has another word as well. <laughs> I mean, this isn't terrible. <laughs> so, in this particular case, we can do similar and filter it down it's not quite the right color but that's okay we'll figure that in a second oh, actually we haven't even specified that's not bad it's not it's not what i imagined <laughs> but it's not bad um so we could go for probably more of a muted color composition is close up Kind of got worse actually. <laughs> Preferred what I had before. Again, this isn't terrible. I don't know what this is. Um, this looks kind of odd. This is actually kind of what I was wanting, but I actually, yeah. I'm not sure if this is getting a bit weird, but let's see. It's kind of what I'm looking for. It's hard, it's quite hard to describe it actually, but that's sort of what I'm looking for. Let's see. Hmm. That stamp one, I think, is is confusing thing. I don't know what this is. This is, it's yeah. I'm not sure if I'm being very fair here. Sort of getting weirder and weirder, isn't it? I preferred, I kind of preferred the one I had before, but um, anyway, I think I'm giving it an unfair example here. I'm gonna try one more image and then try some of the others. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Okay, all right. So let's clear all this. So. This is another kind of idea I have been looking for. Let's just go for the no, no other tags first, see what happens. Now this is interesting because this one is actually very similar to some of the other ones I looked at, I think I actually, um, give me one moment so I don't reveal my private photo library to you, but uh, we have this one. Let me see. I can show you what I created with Mid Journey, uh, I think. It should be in here somewhere. Um, I thought it was, anyway. Uh, hmm. One second. Because it's quite similar. Although it's interesting because this is coming from stock photos and mid journey. I don't know what mid journey is uh, generated 
source sources, but uh, it's going to be quite hard for me to find it. But so maybe we'll just have to take my word for it. Uh, can't even remember when I created it, let alone how I could search for it uh, in my thousands of photos. Um, no. Okay, so you'll just have to take my. Oh, hang on, hang on. I think I might have found it. Let's. Which is disappointing I can't find it because I do actually want to refer to it at a later date. No, I can't find it. Doesn't matter. Um, just take it from me that this is quite similar, but it's better actually. Although the interesting thing is, so I said a couple of holding hands, one of them is a zombie and one is a human. To me, this kind of looks like they're both zombies. To me, this is ambiguous. To me, this is, I think this is a zombie. This is ambiguous. This is kind of both zombies. So it hasn't completely got it right. Um, let's finesse this a bit. I do kind of like this. I don't know what synth wave means, but we can go for science fiction, fantasy. Um, I don't know why I added this all of a sudden. <laughs> Maybe that's a science fiction. Well, it's not science fiction, so maybe I should take that out. Uh, concept art. Techniques. I will leave the techniques out for now. Effects, I think I'm okay with. Materials. I think I'm okay with concept. Um, beautiful. Uh, I would like, I think, muted color, lighting, dramatic, maybe. Well, we'll see. Let's try that. So again, I can't actually use any of this. I seem to have gained a third person here, which is weird, <laughs> anyway. Um, here, I think they're both zombies. Here is ambiguous, here is ambiguous. I think I kind of like, I sort of like both of these, but I think I pre like prefer this one. So let's continue drilling down. This is also, it doesn't quite seem to get um, the one is a zombie, one is a human. Um, yeah. So you have to sort of finesse it. But these are not bad. I do quite like these. Um, I'm even tempted to favorite a couple of these. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. All right, let's take a look at some of the other things you can do. So text to image, text effects. Ah, now. That is kind of what I wanted earlier. So, <laughs> okay. Enter text. So, this is what I'm looking for. Um, hmm, how do I describe this? So, red fur. So, it just does the letter because I was kind of after something that looked like the letters were coming out of the tail, but it's just the letter. So, see, if this, but this is just a letter, which is the other interesting thing. None of these are showing entire words, so this may not work. Let's see. I suppose you could do it letter by letter, maybe. Let's see what happens. It doesn't quite look like a chinchilla tail to me, but. And then I think we have different way, different sort of variants here. So this is similar to that four up of the images. Uh, none of these quite look right to me, but um, 
Let's see. Take the tight. Not quite sure what that means. We'll see. That was medium. Let's see what tight means. Okay. Loose, I feel like it's going to be more. I don't know why. Hmm. I think the medium was better. We have these different fonts here. Almost none of these are really the font I was looking for. I kind of had a particular font in mind, but uh, it's okay. Now, interestingly, it has got transparency here. Yeah, I don't know what this is. This is sort of odd. Uh, maybe more like that. Background color. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can be more specific. I should really need to be, but yeah, can't quite cope with that. I mean, maybe if we were uh, less specific in this case, I could try. It's kind of the same. Hmm. Not quite what I was looking for. Um, I think there's anything else to try. Uh, have another. I think it almost does too much is the problem. It's yeah, in each case it's 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 too much, <laughs> strangely. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is not quite right. I'm almost tempted to try <laughs> the others. Ah, so I see the the loose the, this this text effects text text effects fit is for letting it kind of spill out of the letter shapes. I always tend to trick. I'm not sure if this will work, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kind of cool, but it's not really the Necronomicon. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder now if maybe this might be better. The tail is much silkier than the rest of the fur, though. Okay, that seems to, whoa, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite cool, but uh, quite hard to read, but it's pretty, uh, it's different. Uh, I don't know what these bits are though. This is kind of weird, like the ribbing. I don't really know what that is. Yeah, it looks more like feathers to me. Although it's not bad. It's lots of tails. I kind of want it to be one tail, I think is the problem. I'm assuming again, this is downloaded as a static image, which is not massively useful for, that's better actually. It's probably the best one. Um, favorite it. And I wonder what it downloads as. Probably just downloads as an image again. Yeah, oh, it's a PNG this time at least. So, okay, cool. Not a font. <laughs> All right, and now we have recolor vectors. Let's see. 
Upload an SVG. Now, this could be interesting. I actually have a vector that I've been trying to color and failing, but I don't know if it can only recolor what already has color. Let's see. So here you can see this um, illustration that I have from an artist. I've colored it a little bit, but because it's from an illustration and I used um, uh, tracing, there's a lot of paths I can't quite get in to fill. I'm also not sure what kind of an SVG this is going to generate, but let's see. Interest. It may be too complicated. So let's see. I always annoyed with Illustrator or any of these when it exports something and never fully really sure how to tell when it's done. But, um, okay, so I'll upload it. There it is. Describe the color palette you want. Okay. Um, It's interesting though because there are oh, blue, purple, and green. Every times. I'm not sure if this is really the right kind of description, but we'll see. I'm also not sure if it's going to be able to cope with this SVG. It's probably a very complex SVG. Yeah, so it has actually done the same thing. It, it it can't magically fill in the areas that I can't fill in either. So it hasn't really helped me there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it sort of looks basically the, the same. That's, uh, that's fine. Uh, I wonder if again it downloads a PNG. Oh, that's odd. It didn't do the um, content credentials that time, I guess, because it's my own image. Well, it assumes it is. It is, but yeah. That didn't quite work because of the colouring still isn't possible. Although it's not bad. Um, probably need a better SVG. I don't really have a good enough one. Now, does that mean drag? Can I drag that? No. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. So let's Go for yeah. I think you sort of get the idea. Um, I quite like this one, harmony. These are not familiar terms to me, but I think they are. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. You'd have to have an SVG generated, etc., etc., which is not what this is. This is the problem I've had with it. I, I can't fill it properly right now, which is why I almost sort of gave up at a certain point. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. I well, let's just show the prominent colors. Go to clipboard and then shuffle them again. Yeah. I don't know how long it takes to get back to the, I mean, there's not so many colors. Yeah. It tends to put the, um, if you know, now I'm looking at it because it tends to put the, I guess the, the subject, for want of a better word, in one sort of color palette and the background end up different. Like the cat has never been anything but grayish, which is interesting. I don't exactly know why. Like why does it not get yellow for some reason? It could be, I don't know if it's anything to do with, I don't, yeah, it's the same thing. 
That's interesting. The cat is always kind of a fairly muted color. Yeah. Let's try. I don't know. Doesn't really look that crazy to me. Anyway, I think that's basically it. It's still kind of interesting. Um, it's still obviously limited because you can't do so much with these yet. And I don't know how charging will work around this. Um, yeah. I think I'm always interested with a lot of these examples, how many times they went through to get these because they always seem to be very good, unsurprisingly. Why would it be otherwise? Um, whereas whenever I've tried, it takes me a while to get there. Odd how they've got this Q letter that seems to keep popping up in several of the examples. But they're pretty good. They're pretty good in, in some respects. I should, I guess, now be able to see my favorites here. Yeah. There is a Discord server. I have been hovering there. I will go and um, post this video there. Um, some of these look very cool. I'm guessing I always thought the intention was that these will make it into Creative Cloud eventually. I did have a quick look in the beta apps and they are not, well, it's certainly not, um, it's said if they're there anyway. There's also no release notes at all, so it's hard to know. So they're not there yet, but I'm guessing they will come at some point. So, okay, well, that was Adobe's Firefly. Um, still early days. It's, I think it's easier to get better results than some of the other similar tools I looked at. Um, still, I think for me, is good for prototyping maybe. Still can't quite finesse it to get to the exact things I want. Um, but then when you commission an artist, you don't always get what you want either. So I don't know. Yeah, um, if you have a Creative Cloud, subscription then join the beta and see what you think and let me know in the comments your experiences too and just in time maybe yes there we go subscribe say hi leave a comment any thoughts on how i could have got better results at what i was looking for uh, have you tried things um and then what kind of results did you get would you use this in something like Photoshop? How do you think that experience should look, et cetera, et cetera. And as always, you can find more about me, including various creative works of mine, all generated by me at christianchiller.com. I will be back on Wednesday with a last minute change to the schedule. We'll be at 3 p.m. Central European time, and I will be looking at Permion, uh, easier web assembly, something very different. <laughs> I have, I did mention in some earlier social media posts that I'd be looking at an Obsidian plugins, but I'm actually going to make that a collaborative video with somebody when they are available in a couple of weeks. So I look forward to that. I hope you found that interesting. If you haven't had a chance to see Firefly, then that's kind of what it looks like for now. 